Hello and welcome to my channel. I am James, this is Famous James. So I think the title and the thumbnail said it a lot, but there's more to the story than more problems. This is showing you the problem and how I rectified the problem to hopefully the problem being not coming back and if it does I'll have to look at replacing the whole unit. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe down there and hit the notification bell. Thank you for the current subscribers already. Thank you for the new viewers. Thanks for the, all, all the views. Um, there's lots more motorbike videos um, on my channel if you want to click on it. Um, what is this about? Well, I went to a BMW and had a new battery fitted and... Had a, had a service and then it, they told me, I said, oh, what is, is the problem gone? They said, we've cleared the, we've cleared the system and it should be gone. I said, so what was the problem? So I told them what the problem was. And they, um, they said, oh, it's this thing and this thing. It's uh, the flap in the exhaust opens when you pull the throttle. Um, it's seizing up, corroding. You need to either replace the exhaust for 1,200 quid. You can go and buy an exhaust for few hundred quid or upgrade your exhaust for about for half half a grand and we'll fit it for you for a thousand pound I said well what about that and got that kind of money right now so well, if you if you replace these two cables I mean not replace them if you remove these two cables then it will solve the problem for now on a temporary basis or forever and it doesn't alter it doesn't mess up on your MOT it doesn't um mess up on the service it just makes the exhaust a bit louder because makes maybe the pops louder because the door on the exhaust isn't closing it's going up and it's going to stay up there because there's nothing to make it go down again so if you finish what if you watch the video this video is coming to show you what i did and how i did it um i'll explain more when it's finished so i'll see you very very shortly bye bye so what did I actually do to my bike? Well, these cables, these, they basically come off the exhaust. And what they, it does is, I had a problem. I went to Sheffield to collect something for my friend. Um, I got there, I was fine. Turned my bike off, turned it back on as it came on. The engine management light came back on. So I went down, I got a new battery which is behind there. All sorted, all sorted. That's 100 pounds to get that fitted. And then uh, and then it, I went to, the, to BMW and said, why, what cars is this thing? And they said, basically, um, there's a flap somewhere in this exhaust, in this exhaust here, there's a flap somewhere that when you open, when you pull the throttle, this throttle, it, it releases air out of the exhaust and then closes it up. So it's like a door that opens and closes. And these cables are what the computer set tells, the computer of this bike tells these cables to effectively open and close the, the door. And that, and apparently, if it gets this, the the hinge on the the hinge on this door, you know that hinge on the on the door that closes it, opens it up, and closes it up, basically gets a bit um, gets rusty and corrodes, which then creates, which then if the, if the door can't open, it sends a thing saying too much um, exhaust fumes and smoke, engine management system. So. I went to BMW after I had my new battery, my service and all that lot done and they said to me it is these cables and I said well what? I said it's either a brand new exhaust for over a grand or it is removing these cables from that part there from here to fix the problem to basically once the door opens without without them on it'll stay open be a bit louder but it won't be bad for the um for mlts it won't fail servicing because it technically it's just a door in the exhaust you know if it, if it comes to it that the um that the noise thing in in england changes and i have to uh and, you know <laughs> 
turns out that like the noise decibels changes in England and you have to have it on, it's too loud for decibels and I'll have to get it fixed in Spain. So I'll probably get a two and three hundred quid new exhaust fit as well. But for now, I went to them and said, How do I how do I get these cables off and stop this thing coming on? So basically what you do you take that off with a few screws, one there, one there and one under here. Then you take this bit off with a screw there and a screw there and to get that screw you have you get a long thing and go and you basically come from, from the exhaust into their long thing and unscrew it. That takes that off and then you can then you just basically unscrew that bit there to loosen it and then take it out and unthread it. Um to get these bit to get these bits off, which is a bit trickier, you have to basically you have to unscrew that screw, um, that screw there, that screw there, and that screw there, and that take that off to give you access. There's a little lip underneath there, which releases that, sends it. I think it sends it that way or that way. It releases that, so you can access it. And you take. You have to unscrew that screw to access that screw because obviously as you can see it's in the way. So you unscrew that that one first, then you unscrew that one, then, then that one, then push it up and unscrew that one. And then you take it, then it should just you, then it's got a little thing in the back of there, down there somewhere, and underneath, which basically you you take it off and pull it out and it releases it. You'll see on on the actual thing. Um I'll see if I can find it here. It has a little thing there, um, there that you have to pull out, and one at the back that you can't see. To unblock it, you take it off, and then you put, unslot those off, unslot them off, just pull them off, take it out, and then you put it all back together again by by screwing in that one there, that one there, that one there. And then obviously that's one in there to hold it in. And then obviously you put that screw back in, that screw back in, then that screw back in. And that has to go in actually through the exhaust there. Slides in to hold it. Put that then screw that screw in, that screw in, that screw in. And then technically what should happen then is with these with, with these released. When the door revs, when the door opens, when you pull that, when it's on, the door will effect effectively open up, like like you do. It'll effectively um, open up like that because obviously it's closed. It'll open up and it'll stay open, and if and it, and it doesn't come up on the it won't come on the engine management light on there. So effectively, it should work. Um, this is just another issue I had with my motorbike. Um, it's all sorted now, thank goodness. All sorted. I am going to go on this on my bike more this summer because I haven't been on it for about a year. Well, I, I haven't been on it that much this year, I should say. So I feel like I need to go on it to. I mean, it's a ten thousand pound bike, so I need to use it. It's just stuck in the garage, so yeah. So, I hope that helped you. Um, obviously, I've done more bike stuff. I've done. Uh, how I got my um, my tyre fixed and other problems I had with my, my bike. Obviously, I've done a few more videos of um, riding my bike and test driving other bikes. I, I hope you enjoyed the the um, this video and I hope it was helpful more than anything because I had to I get a technician at BMW to show me exactly what I needed to do, and then some bits I couldn't do. It really struggled with that um, the second part near the peg all them things pulling it down and all that trying to get I really struggled so just if you get if you start struggling just keep at it be patient and you'll get it there and once it's off it's easy to put it back like anything and anything anything's easy to, it's easy to put back most of the time it's getting it off that's the problem you don't know how it's gone but make sure you know where all the screws are because I was looking for a few screws I, I couldn't remember where I put them and I found them eventually but make sure you put them the screws in the right place so you know where they where they should go back um, but anyway, thanks again for subscribing. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe there. 
forget to click the notification bell, comment, um, like, don't let dislike because this isn't a dislikeable video, it's a it's a productive video, it's, it's helping you from sort of problem I had which helped me, so it's actually a good video. Um, so anyway, hope this helped you, hope you like it and there's going to be lots more videos to come in the, this summer on my bike, possibly on my car, um, I'm going to possibly tint my windows on my car have the um, we might have the wheels refurbished. I'm not sure whether to go back to the um, to keep the wheels as they are now or have them painted black. So it's white, white, a white car with black wheels and black tinted windows. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Or if I should get a new car. I haven't, I haven't quite decided. I have got have had car problems as well. Which there's more videos about my car problems. Um, as like I said again, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all very very soon. Goodbye.